down the shit flick critter. Today I'll be reviewing a rap song released in 2014 by rapper J Online, which has gotten an extremely negative reception on YouTube. A song titled "Country for Life." I think we can all agree that this song is terrible, and when I was initially writing the script for this quickie, I was all set to tear JR Lyon a complete new arsehole, with comments like, The auto-tuning is horrendous, they must all be cousins. Now I know what every known STD looks like in a single frame. But upon reviewing it more, something made me stop, mainly that it looks like there might be something legitimately off with the guy. It looks like he's a slow kid from the neighbourhood and that the only reason why these people are in the music video is because their mums are friends and they're doing it as a favour. It was then I decided to do a little research into JR Line because that's how we do here at Shitflick Critic. And I gotta say, this dude has churned out a ton of stuff and although the quality is far from great, his heart really is in the right place. He does videos about girls that went missing in his town. I hope that y'all will be found. And I hope that y'all safe right now. How much he loves his sister and his family. And the most recent song he wrote is about how sad he is over the death of his grandfather. And the song isn't too bad. He also has some pretty epic vlogs too. One of the vlogs he checks his mail only to see that there's nothing there. Well, no mail today. Another vlog is just a minute and a half of him cooking eggs. It also seems pretty obvious by looking at these videos that he's on the spectrum. And on his birthday this year, he posted this video. On look at him all dressed up for his birthday. Bless his cotton socks. Every year my birthday comes around, I think about how blessed I am now. Because when I was young, they said I wouldn't make it to my teenage years and my adult years. He doesn't say what was wrong with him as a child, but it seems logical to suggest that it might still be affecting him. He also says that it's his 23rd birthday, which makes him 20 years old at the time he made Country for Life, a pretty normal age to put something regrettable up on the internet. So now that we have a bit of context, let's go back to the video. So we have a music video by a 20 year old kid who has medical problems, who's probably on the autism spectrum, and you want to really know what I think? Good job, mate. At least you're trying and unfortunately didn't turn out. But there are people out there too scared of judgement to leave their house in the morning and here you are with your own rap video. It's just unfortunate that everything about it is awful and does a very poor job at making the country lifestyle seem appealing. So far all I know about the country is it has a severe lack of dental hygiene, people eat dirt and when they're not eating dirt they're hitting it against their trucks for no apparent reason. I also think it's ironic to display a confederate flag in a music video where everyone is trying their absolute hardest to be black. The main issue for the Country for Life video is not at one point did someone step in and go, JR Line, I really don't think this video is a good idea. What's even worse is maybe it was uploaded intentionally for the purposes of ridiculing him. And despite all the hate he gets, he's still pumping out videos, and I mean literal hate, as there are people who viciously and personally attack him on almost every video he uploads. And I know some of you will say you shouldn't encourage him, he needs to stop, he's embarrassing himself, but let me tell you, everyone has the right to express themselves creatively, especially those of us with learning difficulties or mental conditions like autism, and they deserve our support. If any of you guys out there do want to show him some support, I've put his link in the description. You don't have to like his videos or tell him something you don't mean, but at least give him some constructive criticism and hopefully we can drown out all the sad, angry wankers that are plaguing his videos. So thank you for joining me on another shit flick quickie. Please be sure to check me out on Twitter and Facebook and I'll see you later.